Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome to what is almost certainly going to be a really good battle today. Before we get into that, um, I was just talking to the boys and I'm in a rare good mood today. Um, our YouTube channel, Grim Reapers, is in massive decline at the moment. Don't let the massive subscriber numbers fool you. Something happened about six months ago in YouTube and it's completely killed my ability to earn any money. I think it's like an anti-war, anti-violence type thing that's coming into YouTube, type of censorship and it is what it is. There's nothing we're do about it but I've given myself about six months probably and the YouTube channel just won't be sustainable the earnings were good and then suddenly down 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 and it's going to pretty much disappear in about six months so we've taken some steps we're now on two other platforms this one is called rumble this one is called Odyssey. They're both just about up and running, but I'm a bit of a noob with them and I haven't worked out how to use them yet. But they are really taking off. Only four days in, Rumble, with no advertising at all, has already got 145 followers. Odyssey, I can't actually figure out how many followers I've got, so let me know if you know. What I'm saying is that YouTube is going to die, the Grim Reapers. There's nothing I can do about it. It's set in stone by the people who own YouTube. It's their choice. We will have to migrate over to Rumble and Odyssey. It will be a slow process over about six months. I'm not going to ask you force you to go and change over but if you're interested please consider having a look at them and i'll put the links in the video description that's that guys next today's battle i take you back to september 2021 we did this battle when we're in the kind of heyday of our naval battles uk carrier strike group 21 versus french carrier strike group 21 it was a good battle and it was fun but it had no military realistic purpose we just didn't have the tech in our sim at that point to simulate this battle properly the stealth modeling wasn't right the radars weren't right the missiles weren't right the anti-ship missiles weren't right the ships weren't right the carriers weren't right it all looked okay but it was completely unrealistic and a bit pointless unless it was just for fun but we've been working diligently and very hard in the background with some really cool clever people for helping us and we've come back 18 months later and we're ready to do it again but properly today i give you the modernized british carrier group versus french carrier group new aircraft with new radars with new stealth attributes and detectability new air-to-air -air missiles new anti-ship missiles new escort ships new carriers actually technically old carriers and various other background systems the scenario is thus. We are going to have a fight in the English Channel. We are only going to be modelling the naval assets today. In real life, obviously, you'd have 100 Euro fighters in Britain and you'd have 100 Rafales and Mirages in France joining in. So we're going to kind of pretend we're actually in the middle of the ocean. But for the laws, we're going to do it in the English Channel. The two carrier groups are 150 miles apart. We've actually got quite a restrictive map here, so I couldn't put them over 200 miles apart like I usually would. Why don't we check out the British first? They've got a Queen Elizabeth class carrier group with a Queen Elizabeth carrier. Aboard her are 30 F-35 Bravos, all AI set to max skill level. Their orders are to fire at the maximum range of their long-range missile and to RTB once they run out of missiles. They're going to be as clever as I can set them. They will all be armed with a stealth configuration of just four long-range meteor air-to-air -air missiles. They will not have the pylons. They will be in stealth configuration. Why don't we have a quick look over here. F-35B by VSN and we've adapted it to GR version 11. Radar cross-section in stealth configuration of 0 0.005 meter squared, meaning an airborne AEs radar can detect it or fire at it, should I say, at 15 plus or minus 5 miles, depending on environmental conditions. That's about as good as stealth gets. The radar is a GR AEs radar. The missile today is a Meteor. Let me grab that slide. Here it is. In fact, both sides are using Meteor today. Maximum range, 108 nautical miles, Mark IV, with a very interesting engine set out on it. It has no within visual range missiles. We can give it ASRAMs, but it will increase the radar cross-section, and today we want to keep as stealthy as possible. The flight model is our own, and the damage model is VSNs. France will be using Rafale Air. It'll actually be using two versions, an air-to-air -air version and an anti-ship version, but here we'll just look at the air-to-air -air version. It's originally by Suest, I think, sorry if I've got that wrong, adapted to GR version 3. Radar cross-section is very debatable on this aircraft. It's impossible to find out the actual clean radar cross-section, so I've had a guess, bearing in mind it's 
that's going to carry missiles and fuel tanks of 0.5 meters squared, which I think is quite small and slightly biased towards the Rafale, meaning it could be detected about 80-ish miles with an airborne AESA radar. It has a generic GR AESA radar. It fires the meteors, and today this is very important. Because it's fighting a truly 5th gen stealth aircraft, it's going to very much struggle to see it. In fact, it will only see it at best conditions at about 20 miles. But it does have a French anti-stealth missile, a Mica IR. This missile is not reliant on radar and is completely useful against stealth. In fact, they'll be able to fire this Mica before they can get a lock and fire their meteor. Here it is. Passive IR guided missile with a range of 32 nautical miles. So it does have a way of attacking stealth. And that's going to be very interesting today. The flight model is our own and the damage model is Suesta's. And back onto the carrier group. Escort ships. The brand new high fidelity type 45 destroyer by current hill. It has Aster 30 missiles, Aster 15 missiles and naval strike missiles. And it's bristling with a gun and cannon. And it's highly effective. We've got all six that Britain actually has. Now, it's very rare you'd actually have six out to sea without one being broken down, as you'll see in the British newspapers. But let's pretend all the engine problems are fixed and we have all six destroyers here. We also have human players. They will be in the same spec of F-35. Guys, you start 10 miles behind the carrier starting position. I ask you to buzz the carrier to simulate you taking off and then you can go and do whatever you want. There are also two AWACS, not the correct AWACS that they would actually use, but because we're having some AWACS problems in game generally at the moment, it's best we just use a generic AWACS one there and one down here as far as I can get away to keep it as safe as possible. And 150 miles away, we have the French. They have their Charles de Gaulle carrier, as we've got here, just about fixed and working. On her are 30 Rafale M's. The first 15 will be air-to-air, -air, set the same as the F-35s in every way, identical orders. They will be carrying the max current loadout of four Meteors and two anti-stealth Mica IRs and a couple of tanks because they don't carry a huge amount of fuel. Then 15 anti-shippers carrying our brand new missile as created yesterday by Current Hill for us, the AM-39 air-launched Exocet. This guy here, now when you look at max range and you see 38 miles, it's very bad compared to all of these other anti-ship missiles here. I thought that must be a typo, you've got it wrong, CH. But no, I go and check in Wikipedia and the air-launched AM-39 is indeed 38 miles, around 40 miles. So it's actually a very weak missile. Why is such a modern French Exocet so bad? I don't know, but that's how it is. So they will be armed with one Exocet and two anti-stealth micas. They will not just fly into combat. I've done some testing. In fact, I've done a lot of testing. The best chance they get is to fly south into France as low as they can and as fast as they can along here past the Normandy beaches and then attack from this aspect. That's the best thing I can do with them to get a chance of getting within 40 miles of the Queen Liz carrier group. There are humans. They will all be air to air, otherwise set out the same as the air to air. They've got two AWACSs. Um, the escort vessels are the French Frems. They're firing Aster 30s and Aster 15s. They've also got some anti-ship missiles. I think they might be harpoons. I think this was modelled when the Frems were carrying harpoons poons with a range a lot less than the naval strike missiles. Uh, six Frems and that is the French carrier group. There's a couple more things to mention. The F-35s during testing could not be shot by the Frems. The radar on the Frems just refused to detect the stealth even at close range. It's not realistic. You would be able to detect a stealth aircraft, even a Raptor, at within, I guess, about 20 miles and far at it. So I've had to do a little bit of scripting. Any of the F-35s driven by the human players that come within 20 miles of the carrier group will hit this ring here that moves with the carrier and will blow up. That's the best way I can get around that limitation at the moment, guys. So just don't get within 20 miles of the carrier, please. Maybe one more quick slide. CH is Type 45 there. You can see the modeling Aster 30, Aster 15 and Naval Strike Missiles. And that today is the brand new 2023 British Queen Liz Carrier Strike Group versus the French Charles de Gaulle Carrier Group with everything set up. Finally, after 18 months of work, I'm super proud of it, guys, that we finally got here. Predictions. Who's going to win, guys? Be an easy one for the British, I think. The French. Um, the French fly. I... Just because oh, okay. you were hated. 
Yeah. yeah, I think I think the British will have this one in the bag. I'm not sure the French could win even without the British planes there, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the ships would take them down before they got... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's a fair point. The Exeter is a pretty terrible missile, and I was surprised to read out how bad it really is. Um, I should say, in this battle here, the French won, but like I said, things weren't modelled very realistically back then. Now things are actually getting worryingly good by the sounds I'm getting from various channels. So, yep. Anyone else, guys? Uh, I think the... Exocet missile data is wrong. I think it has been upgraded to have a greater range than 37 miles uh, in the 2020s or something onwards. I am reading uh, or in the 2000s. From what we read, they are working on a new one, but as far as I'm aware, this is the one in service. No, that's right. I'm reading, well, I'm going by Wiki, which is where we just take our generic data from. Guys, the best air launched version is the AM39 air launch with a maximum range of 70 kilometers, 38 nautical miles. There are 110 mile ones, but they are fired from the ships only, from the Frems. Um, oh. So the best we've got, the air launch is this miserable little French thing. Uh, 40 miles, guys. So, you know, CH has got it right, guys. Unless you've got any other information, but that's wiki. Why would the French put such a terrible missile for ships right? on a plane? Right? Yeah. Did you script white flags for the French? And demonetize yet again. Welcome, Valley viewers. We're going to do this fight now, and I'm in a very rare good mood, so let's keep that mood up. Simba, please unpause server. Let's do Britain versus France. Again, we're off. Right. Okay, let's first have a look at Queen Liz. We can only have the planes taking off one at a time because the carriers just can't support all of the... Uh, planes on the deck at the moment. Look at the beautiful, beautiful Type 45s, high fidelity, with their sensors all modelled and stuff. And um, the F-35Bs today will be taking off vertically because I can't get them to take off via the ramp today. So, do a thing. Uh, Grump. Grump, right MFD. In the top right corner. If you can click on it, it'll change it to your RWR. Uh, there's there. only two MFDs, and I don't see one on the right. I see one center and left. The, there's a screen on your right. It's got engine gauges. Oh, it Fly is. Fire buzzing the tower. F-45 is buzzing tower. Everyone's buzzing the friggin' tower. No crashing into the tower, please. Flies through. This simulates them taking off viewers. They can't operate with AI at the same time on the carrier. It just doesn't work. They're not uh, high fidelity carriers. Simba buzz in the tower. Don't hear that guy taking off. Trump Jesus. buzz in the tower. We're good. Okay, boys have buzzed the towers. More uh, Rafales taking off. Woo! They are only 130 nautical miles away from each other. The lead guy is an F-35 AI. Already conning at 32,000 feet. Whoosh! It's a real powerful plane, that is. And it's very lightweight. It's only got four missiles on board. The lead Rafale is... Oh, human, look how fast Fly got. What on, Fly. Fly supersonic already. It's the fastest plane in here. Now, it's all about detection range. Remember, a Rafale can only detect uh, lightning at about 20 miles or 30 miles with its IR um, missile. Yeah, but he's jamming. <laughs> The F, that's a problem. The F-35 will detect a Rafale about, I'm guessing about 80 miles, something like that. That's Fox first three. missile. Something happened. How did you get a lock on something? Anyway. He's jamming the hell. Oh, so he's lock on Now jam. that's interesting. It's actually a weakness for an F-35 to put a jammer on because this missile can actually track a jammer. This is why most of the time we don't use jammers. It actually makes you more vulnerable to missiles when you're in a low visibility aircraft. So that's interesting. Distance between fronts now of 80 miles soon. The A and APG-81 on this uh, F-35 is going to see that Rafale. Drop, box three. Slayer defensive. What um, plane are you in drop? F-35. Oh, that is our first, um, no, it's our second, sorry. Words and stuff. They have an air breathing engine, these things. Uh, they use the uh, ambient air as an oxidizer, as you guys have taught me. Really interesting way of... Uh, a missile operating. In fact, I don't understand why all missiles aren't like that. Here's Fly's missile. Now, this is working on home on jam, uh, which is good, but it also can be quite unreliable, especially if the guy turns the jammer off, then the missile will just fail. Loads of missiles out now. One, two, three, four, five meteors out from Britain, one meteor out from uh, France, and now the lead, uh, Rafael, uh, Fly's turned cold, as he probably should do at this point because he's got missiles chasing him, and I'm sure he knows that. Now the AI is leading. AI is not as smart as human as you know. We'll just go straight into a friggin' missile. 
distance between front. That missile's looking good from Fly. Popping down. Here it comes. Almost left their jammer on. I bug it. RWR scream. Bug it. Loads of meteors coming out from the, um, from the F-35. Now I'm going to follow this in. It's that guy there. Meteor out. Didn't track. Didn't track. He turned his jammer off. Right, what's going on over here then? Look at all those meteors. Let me just turn that off. Let me turn that off. Okay, distance between fronts now of oh, 40 miles. This Rafal will be able to see him with his IR sensor. It's a bit stupid. They haven't killed him yet. But that's what they decided to do. About an equal number of F-35s and Rafals up at the moment. Let's have a look at this. Let's go for a different guy. That guy's going defensive. What's tracking what? That one's tracking that guy. Oh, it's going to come right down on his face. Fly, bang. God, that was... Explosive. Oh. That was impressive, Fly. If you're going to die, die like that. Now, look at this. This Rafale's got under that. Oh, maybe not. No, he's just gone undetected. St bad, bad flying by the F 35s. There's no reason to do that. And he's fired a freaking anti stealth missile. Mika IRs out. I did not see any of them being stupid enough to let them get that close. Unfortunately, that is AI, AI value viewers. Sometimes they're just bloody stupid, sometimes they're brilliant. Now, that's going to be a hard missile to dodge. And it's an IR missile. Stealth has no effect on it. And this guy's going to go down now. Boom! Oh, he's blew his nose off and he's ejected. See ya! Uh, oh my god. That guy's going down. Oh, I went right past him! Oh no, it killed him. This guy's got too close again. He's going to use his anti stealth missile. That's a him problem. Evaded. Lots of. Jesus, look at this. Look at this. He's attacking the guy who's just. No, it isn't. It's overblown. Lots of wasted missiles. It's just how it is because a lot of those missiles are fired on targets that by the time they get there are already dead. Hence, a lot of the missiles will just be wasted and they're not in parameters to go for another guy for whatever reason. So, that's a thing. Oh, and here's an anti... Here's a meteor. Someone fired a meteor on a stealth... Are any stealths dead? No, no stealths dead yet. Now, here's the interesting thing. Look at the stealths. They go in, they fire the missiles, they turn around and go home. And it's just beating this Michael up. Just. Look at that. It was just dropping down on him. Wherever he is, I can't see him. And it's taken us years to learn how to program these planes so that they can do this. They go in, they fire the missiles, be stealthy, turn around, go home. It's the beautiful thing about 5th Gen. It's why 5th Gen is going to be so important in a match. Well, where's this meteor? It's probably another home on jam, which are looking pretty unreliable. Five Rafales dead. I keep missing the kills because I'm silly. And no F-35s hit so far. One Micro just got outrun. And this Meteor, I think it's a Duff Meteor again. It's just, yep, it's lost its track. Couple more coming in. Couple of AI guys, 40 miles away. So they're just keeping that distance, that 30 mile distance they need to keep safe, which is, of course, what F-35 will do. One reason why they got so close is I put the carriers unrealistically close to each other, 150 miles. But also, we want to create a bit of a fight as well. We don't want everyone to be wiped out so quickly. Lots of Duff missiles. Why do so many missiles go Duff? Because the other they're fired 100 miles away or whatever. And by the time they get in the combat area, the baddie they went for is dead or um, he's out of parameters. He's he's done a big notch or he's, you know, there's all sorts of reasons. Or for some reason, there's been a small... Hello, I know where that's going. I know where that's going. Can you see where it's going, viewers? Cheeky SOB. And the beauty of a, a missile like this is it can go for bloody ages with its air-breathing engine. That was probably a human that fired that. Now, here's a problem. These have chemical batteries, and there's only so long a chemical battery can last. We're talking seconds or minutes. There's a very good chance that its chemical battery has failed. Another Rafale just went down. It's failed, look. That's unfortunate, but it's modelled, and that is how real-life missiles work, viewers. Right. Wow, our Rafale's made it to Bullseye. I did not see that happening today. Fair play. Fly. Flank. Or er, go out to your right on a flank. Roger. Heading 2954. Got him. They got him. No, it didn't last long at Bullseye. It's the first Rafale that's got to Bullseye, and look how mature the F. 35 drivers being human and AI. And AI, they put a new what, oh. I, call, what I call maverick code into um, DCS so that some AI that just ignore orders, um, some do that. But today, no maverick pilots. British are being very stoic and following orders. Look at that guy, just ripping all his missiles. Zap, zap, zap. Amram, uh, Meteor's gone, RTP. Uh, they go back to base and they'll land, but they will not rearm. And to be honest, that's completely realistic. It takes 
half an hour at least to rearm an aircraft in real life so you know the battle will, will be over as far as we're concerned by that point so rearming is just not really a thing um one just dying down here is it dead yeah it's dead missile uh 45 meteors fired by britain two meteors fired by france and one uh anti-stealth mica and no british aircraft destroyed so far and why is that? It's technology, 5th gen technology, and mature flying. 5th gen technology is no use at all without mature flying. If you just flew in like an idiot, you'll die just as quick as a Rafale. So it's 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 the piloting and the, and the training that has to go with it. This man's doing a thing. You see, this missile went for him, but he just went, it was out of parameters. This guy was just out of parameters. Oh, um, Grum Stunner thing. Have you seen the thing on the left of your chin, Grum? I'm aware. I have my button. I have my... Yeah, I don't know. I have my uh, I have my convertible button on. Right. When I, uh, loaded, right. So. Huh. Good dodge. He did something that stopped it working again. It ran out of battery. Whatever. Very one-sided at the moment. Seven Rafals down. Although seven, although Rafals are doing tactically not too bad. They're actually closer to Bullseye than the F-35. So um, it's not too bad for the French at the moment. They can afford to lose seven Rafals. New game plan on my side. If they can force inefficient fire from the lightnings they can run them out of missiles they run them out of missiles there's f-35s they'll land but they won't rearm and again even in real life they will take an hour or you know something turnaround so it's a valid tactic to suck meteors out there's always a way of beating everything there's a way of beating raptors we found this uh, before if you're clever enough you can always beat everything find a way there's an anti-stealth missile gone out that could be a kill these are really good missiles. Now, why are these so good? Why are these so uber? Well, look at their price tag. They're like three and a half million per shot. They're incredibly expensive, and that's why they're so good. Look at that. It's passive. It's just listening, or if that's the right word, searching for the heat of that engine there. And they are F-35s are slightly reduced heat, but not very much. Not as much that really makes a difference to a missile like this. The best chance he's got is outrunning it, and that's exactly what he's done. You've got 40,000 pounds of thrust in the F-35B, and it's just outrunning it. Another one. Another anti-stealth missile. Why are France doing so good? I've run this through. Obviously, you know, I have to do a lot of setup to get everything working in these simulations. And I run this through, and never once did France do anywhere near as good as this. So why are they doing so well? I'm going to make sure there's not a problem with the carrier. Uh-oh. Why do I feel there's a problem with the carrier? No, he's just taking off. Look. He's just taking off. Everything's fine. French are just doing well. They're just doing well. Probably people like this doing this, that are sucking up all of the British missiles. Astas are out. It's an Asta, a two-piece missile, by, by the Frems and the British. It's a uh, Anglo-French-Italian project, I think. I always seem to get it wrong, but you'll know better than me. Range, about 80 miles. They're pretty decent missiles. Being upgraded as we speak to be anti-ballistic. Why is no one shooting at these guys here? Ah, it makes me so mad. One of the problems is these F-35s are being impatient they're shooting low down a meteor cannot be shot low down it has to be shot high up on the downhill it's a restriction of a meteor as per real life and they're not using them properly they've got to get to 40,000 feet they've got to shoot them down on the target ai doesn't understand things like that ai just pushes and presses okay that's one guy down kind of is he dead yeah he's dead i hope no he's still flying happily with no nose cone no he's dead no our first f 35 is coming down no I realize how much that costs my friggin' tax wallet. I'm getting no money at the friggin' moment. Jesus Christ. Right, F-35 down. Anti-stealth mica. What a son of a bitch. Rewenge is coming out, value viewers. I've decided to engage Rewenge mode. Smack! Get some, knobhead. Your baguette will not get away from my friggin' meteor. All right, the British got peed off. We are 14 minutes into the simulation, and it's a bloody good one. Now, is that guy dead? Oh, look at that. His aeroplane is a bit... Uh, but I pretend you didn't see that, viewers. Oh, God, look. This guy's pushed all the way to Bullseye. How on earth are the French doing so good? They got so close, the friggin' Astas are coming out. Look, oh, I'm worried about that, because if they use all the Astas up, then they won't be able to defend from the Exocet. Ah! God damn it. I wish I was an admiral and I could control that ship. Technically, I actually can, but um, I'm not going to. And I suggest my pilots don't either. Just let them operate. It's this guy. It's this guy. He's the culprit. He's being a knobhead, viewers. See him? See his name? That guy. Knobhead. We need him taken out. And we need him taken out now. Come on, Meteor. Come on, Meteor! I'm not going to pretend for one minute not to be biased, by the way, viewers. Oh, come on! Fly your lucky bitch! Son of a bee! We'll get him, don't worry, viewers. 
When RWR was screaming too much. We'll get him. Come on. This one. This one's got his number. This one's got his number. Fly! Splash one Grump. God damn it. Well done. Yes, finally we got Grump. He was causing massive problems. He was sucking all of our asters. He was sucking all of our meteors. Well done, Drop. You did a thing. All right, it's time to fly for Dynex because he's just starting to nap everyone off now. Yeah! Suck oh, it, boy! Oh. How many times do you want to get a hit? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is rough, <laughs> We fired 41 missiles at you and you died. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm, sounds like I'm draining missiles. Yeah. What a drop. Drop is smashing the arm de l'air? Arm de navy? Arm de navy? I don't know. Something. Some such. 13 Rafales down to 1F35B. 13 to 1. I can take that, guys. But the French are doing a lot better than I thought. They still pushed the British back. Why? British have only got... F you know what? I don't know why, viewers. You tell me. I don't know. You know better than me. Reasons. Huge pattern of lightnings here. They don't want to land because they don't want to stop the guy taking off that's taking off next. Look, they're all in a pan. Right, please don't run out of fuel. Please don't run out of fuel. I beg of that. Uh, money. Um, so far, the, uh, the, the, the... It was all done accurately, The by the way. Um, the uh, French have lost um, $2.8 billion. Two point, sorry, $2.5 billion. The British have lost a third of a billion dollars. On what? Don't know. It says Astas, isn't it? 35 Astas. Those Astas cost like $2 million a pop or something stupid. Stop shooting Astas! Come on, I want to see this Rafale smack, smack, smacked. Come on, let's have a good meteor. Would meteors have these deconfliction type problems in real life? I really don't know. I'm not sure anyone really knows, apart from the guys who make them. How clever are they in real life? How well can they do target reacquisition re and stuff like that? I mean, right, who knows that kind of stuff, right? These guys are just out of battery. They're just, they're just flying away. God, we've been pushed back. Our own genius, the own genius of Britain has pushed us back into our own 18-mile ring. Apart from Bird, who's doing a thing. Stop being genius and push out your knobheads. Right. This guy's the front guy, AI. What he's doing is sucking his asters out. Now, that really scares me. We run out of asters, we lose this match. Because eventually, those anti-shippers are coming out. Those anti-shippers are out! Exocets. The terrible, terrible French exocet. As modelled realistically, as per wiki, it's here. I just better shout out, as well as all the third party mod makers, CH as well. Couldn't do this without him and his massive brain. I thought I was going to say something different there, didn't, I? didn't you, viewers? Oh, 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 Simba dodged that meteor by. Look at it, it's chasing him. I am chasing you, Simba! Run out of battery. It's assault in the air or something. The batteries are just dying today like bitches. It's because the, the, they go relatively slow, those meteors. So they take over five minutes, ten, six minutes, whatever it is for the battery. We've got no real life data about the batteries they use. So it, we've, it's all guesswork. Come on, smack this guy down. Look at the beautiful Astas raining down from orbit. They'll get him. You just see if they get, yeah, bang, bang. Completely inefficient, but you know what? If there's a dead friggin' baguette, I'm happy. Look at Frenchy here. Oh, I am tired. I go to sleep. And demonetized again. French are now pushed past. Oh, look at, look at this man dodging this meteor. I am coming for you. Chasing him down. But look how slow it is down here in the thick air. It just cannot get fast. It's slower than a plane down here. It's the problem with meteor. It doesn't generate a huge amount of power for its crews. And it's, it's out of battery. See, it just lost this out of battery. Simba might actually run into it by accident, and that would be a useful thing. The proximity fuse will still work. The battery on the pro proximity fuse will still work. Lucky Frenchie. And Andy Stealth has seen that guy at 50 miles. Every now and then the code will break down valued viewers, and you've just seen it happen here. This Mike at ER shot a Stealth at 50 miles. It can't do that in real life. Sometimes stuff just breaks down. There's so many variables and stuff chucking about here. Right, where are we? 16 Rafales down. I can live with that. Look at the anti-shippers. They're now in France and taking the first corner. I'm in France. They've got a weird problem. I don't know why their surfaces go like that, viewers, but obviously it's not right. Right, let's see what else is going on here. Definitely a thing. It's chasing him. Oh, look at that Frenchie fall out of the sky. Ate Choué would not be happy. Oh, how did I that happen? I got smacked again by like three missiles at the same time. Roger, there's a bug, there's a bug. Um, this guy here is bugged because everyone can see him. I don't know how. 
Everyone's launching missiles on him. Oh, he's got to the anti-shippers. The guy's got to the anti-shippers. A thing that's definitely happening, Viewington Wilmingtons. And this guy's got to bullseye again. What is it with freaking AI getting to bullseye? 18 Rafales down, one F-35 down. Silly AI that got too close. Now these guys probably won't attack this guy here. Even if they see him, they always prioritize their mission. And their mission is anti-shipping. They'll only sort of fight back if they really get attacked kind of thing. I don't fully understand how it works. How's the British doing? This meteor's still doing a thing. It's our battery. Look, it was in the right place. It was in the basket. It could have hit someone, but it's dead now. I don't know what happened to these missiles. They went wrong for some reason. Yeah, they're just going into the ground. But your missile's going weird. I don't know why. What's happening there? Right, let's see what's going on here. This guy's got past bullseye. Well, he's about to get whacked by drop. I am drop, and I am defending the British Kingdom. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Smack! Anti-shipper down. First anti-shipper of the day down. But this guy's coming to do a thing. 101 meteors fired by this group, only seven by this group. That's a thing. Oh, look, look at that. Cheeky. You, sir, are cheeky. Oh, there he is. You see him? You see him? Andy Shipper's running. He's absolutely running. Now, the meteor is slow down here. It might not have the legs. They see it's slowing down. Meteor, not good down here. It's going to catch him anyway. Just look at that. Right up his tailpipe. Hold on, bird. Another down. Stuff's going on here. These missiles are going to hit. Good dodge, mate. The sausage munching Bosch dodger, even though he's not German. Wow. Dodge two meteors. Fair play. And fire back. A thing. A, 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 a thing. Where is he? There. F 35 dodged. Wow, these rough files are putting up a real fight. And they're not stealth, but they are low observability. And that will affect the radars and the missiles. Another one, look. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good luck dodging 25 asters. The amount of all these asters, they are finite and they are remodeled. So if they, they will run out. Pang! Pang, 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 pang! Get out, Frenchy. But, but, he left his legacy. A warm, warm gel. Coming for drop. Face! Oh, we got him! Two stealths down, drop wrong place wrong. Oh! Things! Anti stealth missile smashes bird out of the sky! Splash bird! Wow, he hunted down an F 35 and smashed him. They probably found him by the legacy that he could have all these shot down guys. That's amazing. Revenge. 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 Was served. How about that, guys? I mean, oh. I wish I had some IR missiles. Friggin' naval strike missiles are out. Naval strike missiles are out, viewers. Yes, I'm aware we've modeled them upside down. No, we couldn't actually find any pictures being fired, so we got confused. And that happens a lot, because Grim Reapers. But they're out, and they're doing a thing. Look at them all. I am a naval strike missile, and I am upside down, and I don't give a shit. And I'm monetized. Time to move over to Rumble. So these guys fire them out. They fire them out of these tubes here. I think they're all fired now. Eight each. Zap, 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 zap. Eight times six is... Oh, God, I don't actually know that. 40... Thank... 48? 42? I can't do maths! They're fired. Did you see it, viewers? I fired them. Lots of naval strike missiles is the answer. And they are all coming for France. Oh, Grump got smacked. You know what? This is a lot hotter than we thought it was going to be, viewers. These NSMs are cruising along at 640 knots. And they are not going to stop until they smack. They are semi-stealth, but they're not fully stealth. So that will come into play today. I'm jolly excited, viewingtons. Yep, I got hit. Bringing it in for emergency. Look how many naval strike missiles are out, viewers. Let's see if we can catch them all being fired. They don't find them very regularly. So it's hard to catch them being fired. You can see them there. Oh, there, look at that. Zam, zam, zam. And then you see they jettison their little booster that gets them up. The booster gets them sub supersonic. Then they go subsonic when the booster comes off. I've got no chance of zooming in on one, really. That is naval strike missile viewers, which is what they're being equipped with as we speak. We've seen pictures with the um, naval strike missile themselves. Put them on. Another F-35 taking off from Queen Liz. We're so freaking cool. Finally, we can model these these things, viewers. And look at the brilliant tactics by the F-35s. That means only th oh three. Huh? How about that? Three F-35 shot down. But you know what? For 24 Rafales, and a Rafale is actually more expensive than an F-35. I know it sounds weird. It's all about how many you build. It's the most important thing when it comes to making a plane is how many you build. And so, because not many Rafales have been built, they're actually more expensive than an F-35, according to Wiki, and this, you know, it's where all information comes from, which is near enough for us. So that's the thing. We are 28 minutes in. Now, when were the um, Frems fire their missiles? I don't know. This isn't actually my mod. I think this is the Swester mod as well. Swester's French, obviously. Oh, look, there they are. They Out they come. 
They're harpoons. Yep, they're harpoons. When are these harpoons gonna fire? I don't know, because again, it's not my mod and I haven't tested it. They'll fire whenever the harpoons are programmed to fire. I don't know when that is. It could be quite close. It might, it might have modeled an old RGMA or B or something, in which case it'll be 70 miles, in which case we'll never see it. Or it could be uh, a, a Lima or something, in which case it'll be more like 100 miles. Look at them all circle and try and land. They can't land because guys keep spawning on the ship. You, sir, are right in the frigging way. Can a rebel land on a beach and not crash? Do it, Grump. I'll be very proud of you. Yeah, yeah I see. I'm probably, I'm, I'm expecting just to explode. Roger. Could this guy really take off like that? Probably not. With all the fuel, all the fuel and the missiles. I don't know. You let me know, viewers. It's only got four missiles and they're not that heavy. Meteors. Yep. No landing model. Huh. How about that? Yeah. The French have hit a wall. They cannot get their anti-shippers past this wall here. Who is this? What's he doing? Another anti-shipper. Look at this guy. He's doing a thing. See him, viewers? It's his little name down at the bottom left. He's doing a thing. Oh, that's interesting. No, it's not. Oh, dear. And that's the problem he's about to run into. You see that guy there doing a thing? That's the problem with not being fully stealth. The Rafale is not fully stealth. Now, he's a radar. can see that sucker at 40, 50 miles. Another anti-shipper shot down. Naval strike missile now 30 miles. The good news is they fired them in one big clump or, you know, as rapid as they could. That's good. Lots of vampires are good. Will it be enough, though? Will it be enough? Don't know. Look at this guy. He's going to land at Tangmere or wherever. And Funtington and Ford. Little chumba wumba tracking him. He's going to get hit. I would hate to fly as a rough island in this, by the way, viewers. Basically, you go anywhere, anywhere on this map, a meteor is going to reach you. It's... Uh, it's not a desirable place to be, guys. Let's see if it works. Smack. Anti-shipper down. Bye. Okay, bye. Sposh. 30 Rafales down. 3 F-35s down. Look, look, a thing's happening. A thing. Can he get it slow ah, enough? Found it. Can he get it slow enough? Where is he? Simba Wimbo is dodging like a friggin' champ today. Just dodging a meteor at full ball. Come on, lock, lock, lock. What's Fly trying to do? Oh, Fly's trying to shoot the naval straight missiles down. You son of a bitch, Fly. How did you find them? Mm. I did not see that coming today, right? All right. No, yeah! Not bad. You missed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bollocks! What, you Well. Oh, oh. Go on. Go on, fly! He did not see that come in! A meteor out of oh, the field! Fuck. Yeah! Splash fly. Oh, it's drop! <gasps> zap, 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 zap! Zap, 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 <laughs> That's what you get if you shoot my naval strike missile down, you be arch. You European be arch. Uh oh, Simba's in real trouble now. He's got all the things coming towards him. I think Simba made a bit of more than he can shoot with this attack. I kept getting personal now. Yes, he's down, but he managed to get missiles off. Are they going to be effective? Right, here's the big attack, guys. Naval strike missile. Why aren't the Astas firing? The Astas are not firing. The Astas are not firing! I've not told them to do that, viewers. They are vanilla. I've not touched them at all. Yeah, I needed to get really close to Kenna Lock them. The, um, the Frems are... Oh, yes, they are. There they are. They're firing. Here are the Astas. Why did they wait so long? I... That's a thing, viewers, I'm afraid. That's a thing. Can they defend themselves? They've left it so late to attack the Naval Strike Missile. See where's out from um, Charles de Gaulle? Come on, naval strike missile! Yeah, we just hit a frem. Wait, did Suck we add that hit the ship too? We just hit a frem. <laughs> Can, didn't it die? Did we? Did we add the hit the ship too? I don't know. I didn't look. It's not dying for some reason. Which? Yeah, yes, it is. It is very much dying. They're a bit tougher than I thought they would be. Again, it's not my mod, so I can't regulate it. One frem down. Zap, 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 zap. Zap, 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 the radar, the French radar is just not very good. Look at that stupid spinny little radar. I'm scared of spinning, but I'm shit. Nice. 
No, 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 they're firing. You see the firing? Oh, bollocks. It did a thing. We've got more coming in. We've got more! Stop shooting the dead one! He's already friggin' dead, you knobhead! I hate Come so on, much. let me let me lock these missiles. No, let me won't. lock. Fly. No, you won't. Oh, fly! God damn you. Come on, come on, come on. We've set their radar cross section low, viewers. They're not fully, fully, fully stealth, but they are hard to hit. And hence why those older pro. Fox uh, me! So do you fly. <laughs> That's one. Now. Frem down. Come on, come on, come on. More. Kill more Frems. Okay, the ones coming for the carrier are coming next. I ain't going to sink Charles de Gaulle because he's a big... No, uh, I'm not going to say it. With Word. the big Uther. He's got the big Uther. Go away, fly! <laughs> sure, drop to his face. It's killing, all the, it's killing all the NSMs. Son of a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well yes! done! Yes! A meteor just came out from midfield and smacked fly. That's most unfortunate for you. That's most... Okay, all the asses are finally woken up properly and the sea wizards are firing. Hang on, i Where am I? There's there's Charles de Gaulle. Come on. I, I killed like six missiles. Be enough or let the carrier survive. Uh, Cap. Yep. French anti-ship missiles are all dead. Yes! Suck it, Frenchies! Damn it, shot the MSNs down. That's it! Uh -huh. That's the MSNs all dead. No thanks to friggin' Flyer being a knobhead. Right, two frames down. Two, you know what? I think I can live with that. Two frames down. Look at the money. Mmm, money, money, money. Look at that. France is not happy with $8 billion worth of assets destroyed. All right, guys, you're on yeah. your last life. You're on your last life. No more respawning. Do a thing quickly. Um, there's not mm, a great deal that can be achieved with the assets on the, on the board at the moment, but use your last life. Have some fun. Yeah, uh, Cap, no problem with the money. Brexit will handle that problem. Ow, my soul. My beautiful, <laughs> beautiful soul. <laughs> Viewers, the only assets left in game that can do some damage are these. Um, oh, I always forget they're called. RGMs. I've... RGMs on the frames. But I don't know when they're going to fire. Um, they're probably set to fire out 70 miles, I imagine. And almost certainly we're not going to close enough. No, we're not going to close in enough time. It'll take another half an hour of us sitting here. Um, I have only one goal. Send it. Kill fucking push. Do it. No, oh, it's push, was it? How embarrassing for you. Fly. Kill push. Why? Right, it's going to kill push. Well, push is running away Operation, like a bitch. Operation, so. everybody target push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's getting the chop out of there, boys. He's done his job. He's being fifth gen all over. These guys, you can start landing now, knobheads. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One of those minus 18,000 feet. How did that happen? Um, Special submarine techniques. It really is, isn't it? Look at that. Um, best pretend you didn't see that, viewers. Probably the best thing to pretend. Oh my god, where does that thing come from? It's still guiding! A meteor is about to hit the planes that are landing on the carrier. French Revenge! I did not see that coming, viewers. I don't know how that happened. Oh god, it ran out of battery within like 500 feet. No, it's still tracking. No, it's not. It's gone down. Wow, oh, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, I think. I, I can't even get past the carrier anymore. Oh, you're dead anyway. Um, so you well, yeah, no the... shit, I'm dead. I can't even get past the carrier because they can just launch meteors in. Fly yeah. as a, this is dumb. Fly Who came last... up with this idea? Fly last life, grump last, last life. I land on the carrier and end this. Mm. Yep, you can go land if you want, guys. Ooh. Right, let's see that little hook come down. It does work, look at that. Look at it having on hook modeled, guys. Oh, I just realized I've left another thing in there. Ignore the American carrier. I left it in because I'm an idiot. You see that American carrier there, viewers? I left it in uh, during for testing. It didn't play any part and it's set to invisible and invincible and it didn't do anything, trust me. A uh, meteor just landed and exploded right in front of you. The lolcopter. Drop splash bird again. I was going for the earwax. Uh, the thing happened. Oh, and he's got a missile out. How about that? Wow, look at the ground. It's desert out here. That's unexpected. Pop. AWOX down. Both AWOX down. It's got a little red flag. Receive the ball. Touch the ball. Yeah, fly! He landed! <laughs> well done, fly. There's our boy right there. Fair play. Live back. All right, valued viewers. Uh, that's it over. The French lost 41 aircraft, 39 rough, basically all of their rafales. 
two frames. They fired that many missiles and it cost them uh, Neon $9 billion. That's a lot of dollars. Blue lost three F-35s, which is bloody good, to be honest. Uh, they fired 150 of them, 48 of them, and 70 of them. And cost a billion dollars, which is still quite a lot. But that's a British win, guys, and I'm happy with that. And that's going down in history. That's the final score. We've done it. We've done it as realistically and as fair as we possibly could, valued viewers. And I'm super happy with it. Anything to add from my humanoids, if that's really your actual species? And good flying as well. Cap, that was some really good... Yes, Ron? Are you seeing that guy winking with a flag? He mistaken the red for the white flag. Ooh, awkward and demonetized. <laughs> yeah, in front look at of that. me. Look at that, red flag. Yeah, yeah in front white. of me, it's one, two. Roger. <laughs> my nose. Uh, <laughs> right, eject, fly, eject. Uh, as far as the match goes, uh, I mean, it's hard. It's hard being in, a, in the French plane because all you do is spend your time dodging missiles. Because the AI are launching, people are yeah. launching. Yeah. They I don't can know. see you from so much further away. I mean, it's yeah. stealth versus non stealth. What were you really expecting? There you go, guys. Yeah. Right. That's what it's... I'm saying. And we're dodging Mach 4 meteors, so. Yeah, and uh, I did not see push at all until I was dead. Roger, boys. All right. Well, those boys said, I hope you enjoyed that, viewers, and we'll see you later.